Hey guys, it's me, Charlie. Today's date is September 3rd, and it's Saturday night, and, um, or Saturday morning, I should say, and it's about 3 in the morning, and I was just watching some YouTube videos, and I noticed my female oxalato acting really strange, and I just realized what she's doing. She is actually, um, she's only been in this tank for about two days, and I put a bunch of um, plants in here, and I have a few um, guppies, or feeder guppies in here. I have two filters, actually. I have one that I'm just using as an extra. It's just thrown in there to suck up all the little material. And I have their Duetto filter in there. But I noticed her grabbing onto the plants really strange, and she's never, ever done that. And now I know what she's doing. She's actually... Um, I think she's going to be laying her eggs on the branches and the male is close by and I don't know what he's done if he's laid a pocket of sperm somewhere for her to pick up. Um, she's always been kind of fat and he's kind of been kind of thin and I did do a video before of them um, where the male was losing weight. And the female was nice and fat. She's always been fat for some reason. And they don't eat that much, but the male does. And he does need to keep eating, but she has her legs, as you can see, wrapped around the plants. And I'm kind of curious to see what the eggs are going to look like. I hear they're really tiny. And um, I just thought that the eggs were just thrown everywhere, but I have heard that if you put plants in there, the female will grab onto it and lay her eggs but the male's tail's in the way. Doesn't he look like an alligator? With his little gills? So, when I saw this as I was watching some videos on YouTube, I thought, I have got to record this and put this on um, YouTube, because I don't even know if anybody has videos of their oxalotls breeding. So, I don't know how they breed. I don't know if they mate with each other at all. But these two have gotten along really well. They've never fought. They never pick on each other. So I guess, from what I heard, the male leaves a pocket of sperm somewhere. She kind of picks it up. Oh, I see the eggs. I see one, two, three. Oh, weird. I could see the eggs. So I'm going to have to probably get these filters to be a little bit more calmer because I don't want them to suck up the eggs but I don't know in this video it's hard to see but right there there's an egg there's a couple of eggs there and then for some reason they're kind of half white and half dark and I forgot what that means but if you guys go to Google and you put into the description box how to breed oxalotls or how to take care of them um, they'll give you a website that has all the information, which is what I'm going to do next as soon as I'm done with this video. But this is just a 10-gallon aquarium, and it's half water, well, 75% water, and the other half I didn't put any water. I have a branch that's inside, and I have a bunch of plants just thrown in there because I needed to get rid of my 55-gallon and within two days, she's laying eggs. This is so cool. So that's what she's doing. I knew she was humping those plants for a reason. So I don't know the details. Um, I kind of forgot um, about breeding oxalotl. So I'm going to do some updates for you guys. And if there's any questions or any comments you want to leave down below, uh, don't forget to subscribe because i got some more videos coming up soon. Hey guys, it's me Charlie. I wanted to do a quick video on my snails. Um, <clears throat> I don't remember what these guys are called. I bought them at a pet store in Burien here in Seattle, Washington. And they were about $2.99 each. 
I really love the colors. Look at this one. I mean, it's got black lines and gold lines, like a like a golden black zebra. And the other one has like these perfect black spots of circles. And it's a golden color, kind of like one of those apple snails. And these type of snails will not eat your plants. So you can keep them in an aquarium like this, which is inside my oxalotl tank. And they won't eat the plants. And I just did a video a few minutes ago on my female oxalotl laying eggs because I was so surprised. As a matter of fact, right there, there's some eggs. And she's actually looking for another spot to lay some more eggs. And she's nice and fat. Look at her. She's just looking around. I was wondering why she was a little bit more active than, than normal. I mean, she's kind of active, but for some reason with animals, sometimes I could just watch them for a while and I know exactly what they're saying and doing. And <clears throat> she had these questions in her mind a lot, like, where can I go? Where can I discover some areas in this new tank set up? And then 3 o'clock in the morning, I see that she's wrapping her legs around some plants and just laying her eggs everywhere. And after I finished the last video that I did, I looked in between the um, this driftwood and I noticed in the back there that she had already started doing this right around the time that I saw her do that. So she was already laying eggs and I didn't know it. So when I started to do this video, I caught her with her legs wrapped around a couple of live plants and um, she was actually laying eggs and that's the first time I was able to make the video. So um, I'm hoping that everything goes really well because I'd love to see some baby oxalotls. They are super cute. If you guys go and put in um, baby oxalotls into the YouTube search, you'll see some really cute ones in here. I'm really glad that I have this one. She's um, got black eyes, she's got red gills, and a pure white body. Her face is a little tiny bit dirty. She has a few dark spots, but that's okay. And um, they're super easy to take care of. Um, you can feed them newt pellets. Um, they're scavengers, and they will eat live uh, fish and guppies and worms that they find inside the um, the tank. Uh, in the wild, they'll find stuff like that too, and they'll do the same thing and just kind of suck them up and eat them. So if you have earthworms or red wigglers, you can actually um, give them that, and it's good protein for them. I haven't um, given any um, red wigglers to mine yet. Um, I have a thousand worms that I'm using for my um, worm bin that I do the compost all my scraps and vegetables and junk mail. But um, when I get overwhelmed with worms, um, I probably will let them have some. But I have a bunch of earthworms that I got from the yard, and I stuck them inside of a plastic container, and uh, I threw some stuff in there. And then a month later, I was overwhelmed with worms. Just stuck my hand in there, and there was just way too many earthworms. So I've been giving them that. So Paula, they're not eating your red wigglers. Not just yet. <laughs> so yeah, I just wanted to do a video on these snails. I think they're so cool, and I hope they show up in this video. And I really like this one. I think what I'm going to do before I don't see them again is I'm probably going to pick up, I don't know, maybe six or eight more, because I haven't seen these at my pet store, my local pet store, so they probably don't always have them. And this one here, probably you've seen before, this one here I think is so cool. They're so exotic and really pretty. They're very active too. They're not just sitting still. They're actually cleaning up stuff. They're eating all the stuff that's on the bottom of the tank or on the side. But my little girl, she's in there looking for places to lay her eggs. I'll be taking this filter out soon because I don't want too much water to be moving in here. I just used it to pick up the extra. And so, um... I'm going to be sticking that inside my other tank that you guys normally see when I make videos in the kitchen. So if anybody has any questions or any comments, don't forget to subscribe because we got some more videos coming up soon. See you on the next video.